Welcome to the Fictional Focus. I'm Nick. This is another tabletop video talking about making the Marvel Multiverse RPG into a Cradle RPG. Today we'll be mainly focusing on the techniques, powers, abilities, the types of energy, and so on. Making a example path and four techniques for that path, kind of the baseline of how they would work. It will, we'll, we'll get all into it and we'll switch over to the computer in just a second. Well, I mean, actually, that's pretty much it. So let's switch over to the computer. All right, now we're at the computer. We can get started on techniques and Madra and energy and powers and whatever, whatever. All right, so we have our little list of Madra types, which I got from the fan wiki. There were a couple that I took off, like I can do pure Madra and I can do hunger Madra. There was a couple of them that I'd never even heard of. So I just took them off. This is the basic types that are in the series. And a lot of them are just normal types that are in everything. Earth, water, fire, shadow, different stuff like that. And then I was originally thinking that I might have each Madra type, element, whatever you want to call it, have a specific kind of effect that they cause to the enemy or something, if it's on an attack or something. And I thought th thinking about it, and I wasn't sure how I was going to do it or if I, if I was going to do it or not. And then the Marvel Multiverse core book finally came out and they have a small list of elements and they have effects and it, it, it does exactly what I was or similar enough that I'm just going to use it. So <clears throat> when I get a chance, I'll go in and I'll probably fill in the ones that are in the book and then I'll make up new ones for the other ones. So. That's gonna be that for now. We'll move on to, because that's the thing. When someone's making their path, picking what path they want, this is the list they'll go to to pick the modular type, the energy type, whatever you want to call it. And they can pick either one or two, and then they'd have a mixture of it. So it could either be something completely new, or it would be something like in the series. There's the gold dragons have fire and water. And it's not really water, it's fire that acts like water. I think they do have one water move, but for the most part, it's all fire stuff that just <clears throat> flows and acts as if it's water. Stuff like that. It would be up to the person making it. So I have a little like test beta path that I've been working on. It's based on it's the path of Black Flame, which is the main character's path in the book series been basically making the path to show what the paths and the techniques and stuff would look like in the game to give you an idea if you know when you want to make one the criteria essentially and how it's how the power is going to work all right so they're called techniques and there's four different types striker ruler forger and enforcer so each path should have not always four techniques, but they, most of them have four techniques. There are some that only have like two or three. There are some that only have one. And there are some that only have one type. But you, like the standard path would have four techniques, one of each type, like Black Flame, which was why I, was a good example to use. So you got the attack name, Dragon Breath, the type, Striker, and then duration is basically what kind of technique, power, whatever it is, like how long it'll last. So like instant means in Marvel Multiverse that it's something that happens instantaneously and then that's it. And then concentration is kind of like in d and I think it's similar, where it's just it's something that you have to concentrate on. So if you get knocked out, if a couple, there's a couple status effects that if it hits you, uh, you get affected by it, it breaks your concentration, so it would break the technique. And then there's others, there's um, permanent, which is usually just like a basically like a buff, something that is just always happening. So we got instant concentration, instant, instant concentration. Because I broke up the ruler technique into two different, it's not two different moves. It's one move, but it's two different parts. Well, when we get to it, I'll, I'll talk about it. So the action is which action to use. Because in Marvel Multiverse, there's a standard action and a movement action. I think that's it. Or, and reaction. It's like in D&D. &D. But D&D &D has the, was it, not easy action. I forget. There are a bunch of different games. They name it different things. 
All right, so what kind of action it is, is a standard action. You just use it on your regular turn as your regular move. <clears throat> Range is 10, which I'm always going to do the spaces for. So when you're playing on a map and it has the squares, and each square is 5 feet. So the 10 is you can move 10 squares, or the attack's range is 10 squares. Cost is the modra cost. How much modra does it take? You have to spend in order to use the move. And then the effect. Character makes a range attack against an enemy in line of sight. The attack is a success. It inflicts regular damage on a fateful success, which is what I'm going to call the Marvel die, because they call it fantastic success, but I change it to the fate die, so it's going to be a fateful success. The enemy takes double damage, and the modra type's special effect, which, going back to the modra list, the black flame is fire and destruction, so you would just know what the effect of fire does and what the effect of destruction does, and I'm going to decide if you have to pick one, or it might be a combination of both. I don't know. I'll, I'll have to see. It would probably be, like, pick one of them that you want to do at that time. And then Mastery. This is something completely that's not has anything to do with Marvel Multiverse, because these are the only these are from rank one to what was it, eleven that I had. These are all, the only moves basically you would have unless you made up your own move. So <clears throat> the mastery is to basically level up the move and then can also give you extra moves. So like, and I didn't do that. I should have. There'd be another column here for, like, not skill points, like technique points, because you'd have to spend a specific amount of technique points on this technique in order to get it to mastery one. And then you get the bonus. We'll just put, like, just get, like, plus one to the, uh, the multiplier. It'd be, like, gain... Technique, sweeping, breath, you can call it. And then it would be another section over here or something where a sweeping breath would be like a new technique that you get, but it would basically, it's the dragon's breath, but then you like sweep it across the field. So you'd hit, it would probably do less damage, but you would hit more people with it. And then at mastery three, maybe like another plus one. Multiplier and then plus five cost. Just stuff like that. So as you master it, the damage goes up, you gain a new technique, so you can like do a, a group hit. And then it does more damage, and then it, now it costs more because it's doing more damage. And then, so, <clears throat> mastery is basically something like that. It's kind of like leveling up the technique, or on, like, if it was a skill tree, you'd have Dragon's Breath, like, tree, and you would just put points into it to gain added on abilities, sort of thing like that. So now the Void's Dragon's Dance. Void Dragon's Dance, a ruler technique, two different parts to it. There's the concentration part and then the instant part. Because a ruler technique, usually it's something, it's a big area of effect move usually, and it's something you have to forge, like put together. It takes a little bit of time to put it together. So it's going to be a concentration. The first part is going to be a concentration technique. And the action is going to be setup action, which is not anything in Marvel Multiverse. There, so in the Cradle RPG, presumably, you would have a setup action, a standard action, movement action, and then also a reaction. And the setup action is there's only specific moves you can do in the setup action. Like you can do the beginning part of the ruler technique. You spend your setup action to start doing the ruler technique. And then like this is the same way the burning cloak's going to be in the setup action too. We'll, we'll deal with that when we get to it. It's no range because it's not an actual like move really. And then the cost is five just to start doing it, which it can be broken. And... I write in the effect. But I wrote in all the other effects because I didn't think you'd want to sit here and watch me type this all in. All right. So the effect would be the character builds the ruler technique till the start of their next turn. 
something along those lines. So as in, on your one turn, you use your setup action to start your ruler technique. It's a concentration technique, so you have to concentrate on it. So until the start of your next turn, you're doing that. So if at any point from that turn to the beginning of your next turn, if somebody does something to break your concentration, then you just lose the technique. And then on your next turn, you can use the technique, which it'll take your setup technique and your standard technique. You have to spend both of your actions, or not standard technique, your setup action and your standard action. You have to spend both your actions in order to use the technique. And the range is 10, cost is 5, and then the character makes a strength check and compares that against the durability of every enemy within range. It'd probably be durability defense. I don't know how to look at that. On a success, an affected target takes half that total damage. On a fateful success, an affected target takes full damage and suffers the moderate type special effect. So it's a big area of effect move. So for the mastery first level, you get something just like plus one, plus one multiplier, and two, you'd get maybe just like the cost would go up. Because presumably, by the time you get there, didn't write in the one. And the three, it would do like do full damage. So at that point, it would cost 15 to do, but it's doing full damage to everybody in range. And if it's a faithful success, it would then do double that, and it would do the modular special attack. Or, there we go, on that, have it always do Madra special effect, which again would be fire or destruction, I guess, depending on. Probably you're just going to have you pick whichever one you want if it's double one. All right, so that's the thing, too. None, none of this is concrete, and I don't need to actually play test it to see how any of this would work. And I got to figure out exactly how you get technique points and how many you need to get to the certain levels of mastery. Because I do know technique points will be one thing you can gain. Uh, between sessions, you can choose to... Or not between sessions, on, in your off time. Like when they take a break or whatever. You can choose, oh, for we're going to take a break for six hours or something to rest or whatever. But during that time, I want to train. I'm going to train Dragon's Breath for six hours so you can get like six technique points or something for it. Something along those lines. But then it would hurt you in other ways, as in like you hadn't, you didn't get to heal as much as everybody else, or you didn't get to recover as much Madra. So there'll be like upsides and downsides. You have to depend. Or you could just do like I'm gonna do three hours of training and then three hours of rest so I can recover a bit and I can get some technique points for this technique I want to build on. And you can focus on one technique, or you can just do it across the board. And then there'll probably be things that give you just generic technique points that you can put into whatever move you want. I don't know. Just things to think about, and I gotta work on. So the next one's Dragon Descend which is the forger technique. It's an instant, because it's just like a physical attack. It would just be a standard action. And it's reach, because it's like a short melee attack. Cost is five. Character makes a melee attack against an enemy. On a success, the enemy takes regular damage. On a fateful success, the enemy takes double damage and the Madra type special effect, which again is flame and destruction. Uh, oh, that could be something for like three mastery or two mastery is that they take both types of effect. I don't know. That has to be something I have to look at, test. All right, so Dragon's Descend, level of mastery. So it could just be like plus one. Multiplier. And then... Increase the range, because uh, reach is usually like within a square of you, so you can increase it to like something where I don't know if that'd be a technique or it would just be an increase of that. Something where he makes because he the dragon's descends is where he makes like a black flame like dragon hand claw on his hand, and you just attack. Or it could be like a dash move, or it could be like a new move. I don't know. I'll have to figure that out. It'll be something like that. Either 
increase the range of it or give him a new technique where he can dash forward and do an attack. Or it could be a reaction. Where someone gets attacked, you can charge in and do an attack. What does that have to say? So then something like that. And then, like, always does Madra effect. Something like that. I don't know. That one I'll need, I need to work on. All right, so the last one, Burning Cloak, which is the Enforcer technique, and it's Concentration. And that one will take a setup action. The character's body is engulfed, and the cost is 5. So the effect is the character's body is engulfed in Black Flame, which grants plus 1 to their Strength Multiplier and doubles their running speed. The effect lasts to the end of their next turn. So they got to hold the Concentration on that. And in multi Marvel, in Marvel Multiverse, you can concentrate on the same number of techniques as your rank. So you just need to be ranked two in order. You can do Void's Dragon, Void Dragon's Dance and Burning Cloak at the same time. So Burning Cloak, do free basic attack. Another thing I'm, I want to add into the Cradle thing, which isn't in Marvel, and it's kind of in D&D. They kind of have like a standard basic whatever attack, like a normal attack. I forgot what, exactly what it's called in D&D. A basic attack is just a punch or a kick. Like you're not using Madra. You're not using any technique. You're not doing anything. You're just punch, regular punch. And it just it would just be a strength, a melee attack, which is basically that. But then you have, you can put extra stuff on it. So it would give you a free basic attack. So the idea is, like when you have that, your turn, you use the setup, burning cloak. You can dash in, do a basic attack, dash away, use your standard action to throw a dragon's breath, and you're like, because your speed is doubled, so you're like super fast, you have a lot of speed, a lot of running speed, you can move real quick. So then it can be just like plus one multiplier. And I was thinking some kind of reaction move with the Burning Cloak. It would have to be active, of course. But something... Uh, I don't know what it would be called. It'd be some kind of reaction technique where either you're attacked or an ally is attacked, and you, you have the Burning Cloak on, and so you just dash towards them. You use like half your running speed, which is doubled, so basically you use your normal running speed, and you go to them and you can like either block the attack or attack the attacker, something along those lines. Or if you're attacked, then you can use the burning cloak to get out of the way. Well, that was another thing too I was thinking about. Is that maybe I don't know if it'd be on one or two. Maybe uh something along the lines of attackers gain trouble. X Something along the lines. So, so that when you have it active, if somebody tries to attack you while you have the burn, burning cloak up, they have trouble attacking you because now you're faster and you're stronger and something along those lines. That's basically just the, the basic idea concept I had for how the techniques will work and the mastery. You gain bonuses to the attacks as you put technique points into it, and then you might gain extra techniques from it. But they're techniques that are like the sweeping breath. It's just dragon's breath. You just use the dragon breath and you just sweep it across the battlefield. It's the same technique. You're just using it in a different way. So that's basically it. That's how I would build a path techniques for the Cradle RPG. So end of the video. Next video for the R RPG, I'm not sure what it will be about. So I'll have to figure that out. So thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We're on Instagram with the podcast. Check out the other videos. There'll be links and all the stuff. And until next time, bye.